as professional. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, moving on in our action tonight. Three rounds, this in the Phantom Weight Division. Entrance into two first, fighting in the blue corner. A kickboxer and jiu-jitsu specialist standing five feet, seven inches tall. A visual weight, 134 and one half pounds. She enters the cage tonight, perfect as a young professional. One victory and no defeats. Hailing from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, here is the undefeated Black Widow, Marcia And next, her opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist standing 5 feet 11 inches tall. She weighed in 135 and 1 half pounds and also entered the cage perfect with one victory and no defeats. The fighting pride of Richmond, Kentucky. Here is the undefeated Jessica Doe. Referee in charge, once again, Michelle Drake Browning. Jessamine Duke, a 72-inch wingspan. Marcia Allen, kickboxer, jiu-jitsu. Of course, at this stage, you better be well-versed in all facets of the game. Jessamine Duke, very well-versed in the king of all martial arts, the Muay Thai with those vicious knees in the clinch. Flashes the jab immediately to kick things off in this Bantamweight matchup. Counter right from Allen. Duke in the black, and black Allen in the red and black. I like the jab that uh, Duke's coming with. It's solid, it's out there, and she brings it back real fast. Nice left hook. That'd be a hard thing to get around with that kind of reach. I feel like um, Allen's kind of mystified with the reach right now. and the, the She can't get anything off. Mm -hmm. Nice inside leg kick. First minute has elapsed here in this fight. Right hand from Allen. Right hand just misses from Duke. Duke's kind of stalking her down, looking for those openings, throwing that jab. Straight right hand from Allen. These girls are good. <laughs> I like how patient they are. Nice right to the body. I feel like each one of them wants a head kick very badly, and they're just waiting for the opportunity. A lot of movement from Allen. Duke just walking her down. This is with the right. One thing that left body kick from Duke. I don't like the way Allen's pulling back with her hands down. A superwoman punch from Allen finds its target inside leg kick, and now Allen has Duke along the fence. Knees from Duke. Allen's got the double underhooks, trying to get a hip wedge in there. I think disrupt her balance. I mean, what do you do with a taller person, right? Put them on their back. Now, sitting, everyone sees Allen has the legs in between. Now she's to twist her over that leg mm -hmm. to, to put her on her back. But it seems like it's going to be hard to do because um, Duke is using that forearm to create some distance. Yeah. And she has some great leverage as well. She does, but uh, it's a dangerous position to knee from, I think. Right there. Oh, now she's she's getting that double underhook nicely done. Great defense by Duke, who gets the takedown on Allen into half guard. Right here, Allen's grabbing around her head, I think, to prevent uh, position. But I think she should honestly be maybe working for a cross space, creating space so she can get back to her feet or reestablish her guard. Or establish her guard, excuse me. Duke wants to posture up. Just for an arm bar. Control. Looks like she's going to go for an arm bar for back. You see how she has the... Look, she let it go. She had Duke's uh, right arm control. Mm -hmm. Good job controlling the posture, though. Mm -hmm. Butterfly guard by Allen. 
Duke back up to a wide base. Now just stacking Allen up. Allen got a hold of her leg and she's going to escape it. Oh, now Duke going for the leg lock. Scrambling with a minute 13 left in the opening round. Now it's Allen saying, okay, I'll try that as well. Dueling ankle lock attempts. She's doing a great job of using her heel to push that arm away. Last minute of the first round. Allen attacking Duke's back. Duke looking for that submission hold. Wow. Let's it go, and they're both... Oh. Well, I thought they were going to get to their feet, but Duke's on her back, and now right hand to oh, Duke telling the referee, the complaining about something, but meanwhile, Allen is just waiting down the right hand. Protect Got to protect yourself at all times, intelligently defend yourself. I think her mouthpiece was knocked out. Wow, she swings for the armbar. And Whoa. Duke looking to pull out the armbar after tasting the ground and pound wow. attack of Allen. Belly down, Russian style armbar for oh, Duke. It's over. Duke wins it via first round armbar submission after being in a perilous position. Duke pulls it out. Armbar submission. She gets the, the wow. tap out victory. She's angry. <laughs> that, that was crazy right there. You yeah. know? I, I didn't know what was going on. Yeah. I'm trying to watch it. She threw her mouthpiece out. Kept fighting. That's yeah. something that you don't really see much in MMA at all in any sport. She is still fired up at Allen right now. Allen went over, I think, to try to apologize or at least make amends. Took one and nothing to do with it. She has picked up her second professional win. And here comes Allen again. And hopefully they can oh, squash it go. here. There we go. That's nicely done. Good sign of sportsmanship by Allen, who was forced to uh, tap out to this armbar. Let's go over this scramble here that got to a weird position. Um, I'm not really sure. No, nope, oh, she, the hair. she oh, pulled the her hair. hair. Oh, she pulled out her mouthpiece to talk to the rat. <laughs> oh, don't wise. do that, fighters. Not don't, wise. don't ever do that, fighters. Uh, yeah, she pulled her hair. And <laughs> Duke was like, I don't have a mouthpiece. You were pulling my hair. I've had enough of that. Just cranks for that armbar. Uh, you know, Allen is, is fighting it at the end, fighting it as hard as she can, but I honestly think the ref didn't see the top at first because of the position of, of Allen's left hand. I saw it from here looking up into the cage, and the tap actually happened. <laughs> yep. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 4 minutes, 42 seconds. Round number one, submission by Armbar, your winner. And still undefeated, A native of Kentucky, Duke, training out of the AFS Academy. Very strong sense of confidence in herself. In fact, she's already set a goal to be fighting for a championship. Within two years of her pro debut, she's off to a perfect 2-0 and o start as a professional. Let's go back to two things you never do as a fighter. You never pull your opponent's hair, and if your hair is being pulled, you never take your mouthpiece out in the middle of the match because the other fighter is not going to stop hitting you until the ref says. Now, you know, that fired Duke up, and she goes right in for that armbar, and she, no mouthpiece, nothing going on, she cranks that arm on Allen, uh, gets her win, but please don't take your mouthpiece out, fighters. <laughs> also, don't pull each other's hair, that is against the rules. And one thing, one thing, go ahead. Go ahead, Mo, finish your line, well, One thing I can say about these women, they, when they see injury, they go for, they go for the kill.